Russian President Vladimir Putin abolishes restorism. Here's a summary of the article. Vladimir Putin has abolished restorism via a decree published on October 20 and its functions will be transferred to the Ministry of Economic Development, including judicial obligations. The decision was taken as part of improving public administration in the field of tourism and tourism activities. In order to improve public administration in the sphere of tourism and tourist activity, increase the efficiency of development of the tourist industry and optimize the structure of federal executive bodies, the decree said. I decree. 1. To abolish the federal agency for tourism. 2. Transfer functions of the abolished federal agency for tourism to the Ministry of Economic Development of the Russian Federation, Putin wrote. The Federal Agency for Tourism was responsible for rendering state services, managing state property and performing law enforcement functions in the field of tourism. As noted, the Federal Agency for Tourism was formed in 2004 and since 2019, the department has been headed by Zarina Daguzova. We do not have information about any restrictive regulations at the federal level. This post received a score of 7,200, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Don't exactly know what restorism does but from the story it seems to me he just wants to control, restrict Russians from leaving their country in general. It's just a travel agency, where they sell travel packages, hotels plus flight tickets plus recreational activities, except it's controlled by the state and not a private business. State-sponsored travel. State-controlled travel, it seems. Either way Russia tourism will decline sharply in the coming years. I once wanted to see some of the famous sites in Russia. Not anymore. On the other hand, I hope to one day visit a peaceful and rebuilt Ukraine and pay my respects to these brave people. As a Ukrainian, you're 100% welcome to come visit when it's safe laughing face. I'm biased because I am Western Ukrainian, but I really recommend LVIV. It's such a beautiful city and it's far from the war so it's still pretty intact. However, every city in Ukraine is beautiful. Not Ukrainian. And I second Lviv. Been there loads of times. And I'm on the first plane or car ride back when the war is officially won. Question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark. Question mark 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 exclamation mark. Same. LVIV is both a beautiful and fun city. Also, driving through the country to Caspian Mountains is beautiful and interesting too. Some good skiing as well. My nephew was originally born in Siberia. He was one of the last generations to be adopted from Russia. He is 18 now. It makes me sad he can't even try to find his five other siblings just to know biological family, and if he wasn't adopted he would be in war. Crazy to think about. As a 20-year Russian adoptee it's definitely very weird to think about how different life would be. That's for sure. I can't even imagine. I have been at a loss as to what to say. It breaks the heart just being aware of this reality for Russian adoptees. Border Guard. Nationality? Tourist. Russian. Border Guard. Occupation? Tourist. No, no. Just visiting this time. Australian Border Guard. Do you have any sort of criminal history? Tourist. No. Sorry. I didn't realize that was still a requirement to get in. Grandpa tells his grandson, all you kids do these days is play video games. When I was your age, he continued, my buddies and I went to Paris. We went to the Moulin Rouge and I fucked a dancer on stage. We didn't pay for our drinks all night and when the bartender complained we pissed on him. The grandson thinks his grandfather is right. He goes to Paris and the Moulin Rouge with his friends. He comes back three days later with a broken arm and covered in bruises. The grandfather asks, what the hell happened to you? The grandson says, I did just like you did. I went to the Moulin Rouge with my friends. I tried to fuck a dancer on stage and piss on the bartender. But they beat the shit out of me and stole all the cash in my wallet. The grandfather asks, well who the hell did you go with boy? The grandson says, my friends from school, who did you go with? The grandfather says, well, the second SS Panzer Division. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech.
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.